Today's episode of The Read Pile is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm Elle. Guess how many days till Christmas? I don't care. And I am the <laughs> Sussman Rick Sussman, and today I was a true hero because I gave blood. Whatever. Mine has a bow. And you are watching the Reed Pile. It's the week of December 10th, and here are some comic book news you can use. First, a little bit of note that we didn't get to last week. It sort of debuted around the same time. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. Confirmed. Yes. We have a Deadpool movie. Damn, he's sexy. I didn't even tell you that Ryan Reynolds was going to be Deadpool yet. You you totally jumped to the gu So Ryan Reynolds is going to be in it. Yeah. Do you have an opinion on Ryan Reynolds? I want to touch him. <laughs> I don't care where. <laughs> So it I mean just, location. Or, uh, yeah. yeah. It gets worse. No, okay. <laughs> I don't want to stop All right. talking. Alright. Uh, how do you feel about the Deadpool movie in general? Oh, man. Well, I would like to point out the fact that I will enjoy his tight suit. Okay. I see. Um, <laughs> you know what? You know what? There's other news to talk about because I can see we're going nowhere with Ryan Reynolds' talk. Oh, we're going everywhere, but we're going to... You have to censor me. <laughs> <laughs> so, other comic book news. Does from, it matter? From the big screen to the small screen. Who cares? <laughs> so, Krypton. Oh, that. Yeah. The Sci-Fi Channel is producing, if you weren't aware, um, they're in development. There is no... There, I don't even think there's a pilot being shot yet. Mm -hmm. But there is probably going to be a show... Because it's the Sci-Fi Channel, and let's be honest, what else do they got? Um, except, I guess, another Sharknado movie um, called Krypton. It's a TV series based upon Superman's home world. Uh, I'm guessing before it explodes. Hey, spoiler alert! I know how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> um, how interested are you to see a story about Jor El? And Superman's mom, whose name I can't remember. Guess what? They did a really good job in one of the, you know, recent movies. Called Super, yeah, 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 to explain that. Steel. And I think that was enough. You really, you, you want to have to wonder, like, what is there, <laughs> like, how, how are you going to have, like, a series? I mean, would you, okay, question. Would you watch, like, a two-hour movie of Krypton? Just, like, the leading up to... Maybe like the last two weeks of Krypton or something like that. Probably. Okay. You know I'm going to say yes because I I suffered through Caprica. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really, if you don't know. So I did torture myself. <laughs> Caprica, for those of you not playing at home, is the pre-show, prequel show of the new Battlestar Galactica with like Edward James Olmos and... And, and uh, a lot of really great characters. Oh my God. <laughs> I told her about Caprica and how it was the prequel. I watched exactly one episode of this abomination and never again. And you struggled through the entire series. It took me two years, but you know. Ironically, that's how many seasons it was. So <laughs> there you go. All right. So final thoughts on the Krypton TV series. I do not want to watch it. If I had access to actual cable, I might <laughs> check out the first episode, but I don't, so I can Hulu? promise you I'm not going to go out of my way to watch it. Are you going to Hulu it at the very least? If, if it even debuts. Who wants to buy us? Will somebody you watching can, this buy us Hulu? <laughs> you can watch it for free. Right, you know what? I'm done. Comic book review time. Oh, we got to go. And time for some comic book reviews. So, I am going to start with Deadly Class. No, it's not new. But Image has this thing where you can always have access to the number ones. Awesome. It's only a dollar. Sure. I kind of fell behind. I did want to check it out way back when. 
just never really got into it. So, why not? Add it to my read pile. My read pile is a little short, so let's check it out. So the idea is the story starts off where you're introduced to this guy. I should, well, I should say kid. Supposedly very, very young. And he's on the streets. You feel for him. You're following him around. I was absolutely intrigued by the story. It was in his mind. It got my attention. And then I find out it's all about a school of assassins. Completely lost my interest. I was over it. I would rather find out more about this guy and his background. I don't want to know about this whole school. I really don't even care about that. Very disappointing. I don't know why. They had me and then they lost me very quickly. I just am not interested in a story about that. It doesn't have my attention. It was so well written all the way until I figured out where the story was going. Yes, I could pull up on the internet and I would have already known that's exactly what it's about, but I like the idea of just diving into a first issue without reading everything on the internet first. I wanted to just read it and find out. Unfortunately, not for me. Oh well. Also, something new to the read pile for Elle. Bitch Planet! Yes, I just cursed. Ah! But, for reals, that's what it is. It's about a bitch planet. It is a world where man has control of how they deal with their women. <laughs> uh, if they're not pleased with how they are acting, it seems that they can send them off to a planet, <laughs> pretty much. Have them locked up. Uh, it's a prison for women that don't behave the way they want them to behave, and that's how they dispose of them. It was very well written. It was intriguing at times, with one story in particular where we were following one woman, but it's not a story I, I want to continue with. It's not something that I really want to have in my read pile. I don't want to follow up with this. It's, like I said, it was well written, but for something like this, I, that's the kind of thing I want to, you know, carry off to, to get away from the world. <laughs> I'll turn on an episode of SVU, and there you go. <laughs> it might be fun for others, just not for me. But what is for me is my pick of the week. And I think we all know what it is, if you know what came out this week. Harley Quinn. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, Christmas special. Of course, just like with all the holiday specials, it's divided up into different stories. So we get three stories for the Christmas season. And every one of them, fantastic. Just to kind of break it down for you, first one, does have a little thumbs up to uh, Paul and Bruce in there. I thought that was really cute. Yes, I noticed. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and I thought that was adorable. <laughs> but, so, the first one, pretty much, Harley has to put back on her doctor glasses and be psychiatrist to a little girl <laughs> on Christmas Day. It was hilarious. It was cute. It was fun. And I like seeing that part of of Harley, where she ha she kind of sucks back into the the doctor mode, and you see that sweet side of her, and it's just wonderful. And the whole idea where they played on her love of animals, like like always, but they really concentrated on it on that first issue. I love it. You know, I work in veterinary medicine, and I just it tickles me, and that, I think that's another reason why I love this character so much. Second story, pretty funny, I'm just gonna say this, it explains why we have candy canes. It's why they exist for people like me, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> you got it. you just, <laughs> it's great. It's the shorter of the three, and but it's fabulous. I, I don't know why, but it was. <laughs> I can't really even explain it. Third one, 
fantastic also, of course. Um, and that one, how do I explain it? Oh my gosh. So, okay, I think I can actually find a page. For you just really quick, what do I do? Busy. So, I just want to see this little page right here. Is that one right there? So cute, the big eyes. It was just the artwork. It was fantastic. I think that's really what got me is the artwork. She's got the big eyes, the big teeth. Oh my gosh, it reminded me of the animated series. So, to me, that was a little grasp for like back in the time nerd girl craziness. But the idea of that one basically is her trying to catch up with Father Time. No, literally, she's trying to find him. So it was it was funny. Another kooky adventure that just is fantastic. But I guess we will need to move along now and see what. Rick has on his repo. Okay. Thank you for those reviews, L. As always, you did a bang up job. Let us begin to my read pile this week. Pretty average read pile. Got four books for you guys. Starting first with Copperhead number four. Um, I've been reading Copperhead digitally for a while now, the first three issues. Um, after I read the third issue, I decided I wanted to add it to my physical read pile. So I went to my shop, had it, and they uh, were cool enough to track me down all the uh, the physical copies. So I went and got, got all of those, and now I'm just going to read it as a regular book as opposed to a digital book. I love Copperhead. If you're not reading it, try and think of it as like Saga meets Firefly set in a similar tone as Drifter. Um, you remember my review of Drifter. I really like that a lot. Well, this book has been out for a little bit longer than Drifter, but um, you can easily find them available at your shop, or at least you should. Um, they're really good books. I really, really, really like Copperhead. It's one of those books where I'm really worried that, you know, everyone I talk to about Copperhead that reads it loves it, but not a lot of people read Copperhead. They don't know that it exists. It's an image comic, so it should be around for a while, but it's one of those things where I'm worried that if I don't spread the word more uh, feverently, it might go away. Um, moving on to Jeff Lemire's Justice League United, number seven. The United League uh, is still in outer space, still figuring out what to do about the, uh, the Infinity Baby. There's a lot of parallels being drawn between this kid and um, Marvel's uh, uh, Thanos. You could sort of see a lot of similarities. They both have blue skin to begin with. That's sort of a thing. The, the whole storyline is called the, um, I think it's called the Infinitus storyline or something like that. So there's a lot of parallels between these two characters. I'm really digging it. We're finally getting back to what originally started the book's interest as far as I'm concerned with a lot of witty banter between the characters. Um, at one point Animal Man looks to one of the Legion of the Superheroes guest stars who I guess has animal powers as well and Animal Man just looks at him and goes... <laughs> And the guy looks back at him and goes, <sniffs> and for whatever reason, that's just really funny to me. Um, Animal Man using scent grunts as a way to communicate. Uh, these last two books that I'm going to get to, I I don't even know which one is my pick of the week. I'm going to announce my pick of the week, but either of them really could be. But if I'm honest, Sex Criminals number nine, I think number eight and number seven and maybe number five and number four were all my picks of the week, so that's getting a little monotonous, and I try and varies it up a little bit. Here's the thing. That was a really great issue. Should be there by now. That was a really great issue, and there's, okay, micro-spoiler, there is a huge send-up to Wicked and Divine halfway through this book. Like, it's not even a joke. It's, it's painfully obvious, and it's so good. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it's in there, and it's hilarious. And I, I had to almost stop myself and just say, is this my pick of the week just because of this send-up? So I had to really question it. It was like, no, I, I needed a book to be a little bit more, like, awe-inspiring for my pick of the week. I need something to be gargantuan. I need something to be universal. So let's get the graphic. All right, graphic should be here by now. Spider-Verse. Universe. Spider-Verse. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 11. Should be up there by now. It is my pick of the week for two reasons. One, um, if you see on the cover here, uh, it is uh, Doc Ock Spidey versus our regular Spidey. So Peter versus Doc Peter. Peter Ock? 
either way, that was cool in and of itself. Also, the Peter that is the Captain Universe of his dimension is attacked by all of uh, Morlorn's family. Things go down, and it's an incredible issue. No spoilers, just know that it's really, really good and definitely worth checking out, and I think certainly warranted of being my pick of the week. For you, our loyal followers of The Read Pile, we have an awesome offer from Audible.com. Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their awesome service. You can download some really great books like The Hobbit, the unabridged version from Tolkien. You can download Divergent, Lean In, lots of great stuff to check out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia for your free audiobook. That's this week for the Read Pile. <laughs> Not even an intro anymore. I don't even get. You just get the. We this get, guy uh, okay. is going to tell us who we are thinking this week. So, um, well, it's us. It's it's us again because yeah. Nerd Up Media is well, yeah. me and uh, <clears throat> guy behind the camera. We're working on something for tomorrow, a live like tweet event um, for. NXT, because who is the mayor of NXT, L? I don't know, I didn't vote. There was a vote, and I was elected. I, as the mayor of NXT, be on the lookout uh, on the Twitters, on the Repile Twitters, on the Repile Vine, uh, all of which you can find at the end of the show in the credits, um, and you will see that we are doing an event tomorrow called The Mayor's, uh, uh, I think it's like the award show, yeah, The Mayor's Mayoral Awards, yes. See you guys next week. And you are watching the replay.